Hey guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing my San Diego Comic Con haul. I wanted to showcase everything I got. I know this week I did not have a comic book review, but don't worry, I'll be back to that next week. It just was crazy with all the Comic Con stuff, and go check out my social media and everything with everything I was up to, uh, but the little spark notes. I did a couple panels for Kickstarter. I was also the moderator of Mariko Tamaki's Spotlight panel. It's been a really fun, busy weekend, and it, it you know, it's the best time of the year. It's, it's been been great but let's jump in and, and showcase this haul I feel like there's some really fun winners here so first I'm gonna showcase the AMC t-shirt I got it's actually the only shirt I got throughout the comp I, I love AMC as I, I probably have talked about on on the videos or podcasts and it's comic-con has a date on it I felt like that was pretty cool then we're gonna go to Funkos and comic books as well of course so I did get this Legend of Korra exclusive Funko I try not to get too many Funkos, but you know, when they call my name, I, you know, how can you say no to them? I'm gonna put this down here. And this also was exclusive to the event. So this is Kite Man, the show just came out. I love Harley Quinn, the show. And honestly, look at this, this is pretty cool. He's like flying and then says, hell yeah, Kite Man. So it's at least a little bit of a different type of Funko as well. And then this, I'm going to save one Funko that I think is pretty cool for the end, but we also got Eeyore. So this, uh, I, I actually really do love Winnie the Pooh. Eeyore's been my favorite character for a very long time. So I was like, you know what, that, that kind of seems special. This I got for free from one of the stands. It's like a Mickey Mouse 100 years. It's like a free item uh, if you got a certain amount of things. And then last but not least for the Funkos, and then we'll get into comics is this tower for Spider-Man that I want to put in the back of my video, so hopefully you get to see that soon. And it's just Tower of Different Spider-Man, and I was like, you know what, that that seems pretty fun. As you guys know, I'm a huge Spider-Man fan. Uh, and let's jump into the comic books. I'm sure the, the thing you're here for. First off, I got the Image Comics Passport, so you could have went around to different boots and, and gone stamps and gotten some special gift but I just thought this was kind of a cool memory again it says the date on there just to say hey I was at comic-con in 2024 now let's jump into those comics so I got beneath the trees where nobody sees this is the ash can of of this book I actually have not gotten to read the the first volume of it but Mike Mike Spire Slayer from comic book corner has been talking a lot about that book so i'm like you know i will probably get that trade at some point i would like to have ashcan for the next series if i do get to catch up with that book uh, moving on to teenage mutant ninja turtles the foil cover so this is the exclusive of issue one for comic-con i did read teenage mutant ninja turtles issue one if you want my full thoughts on all the comics from this week that i did not get to do a video on i will be doing comic book weekly on the comic book weekly channel where we talk all things comics in san diego so go check that out that's at 10 15 uh, p.m eastern time on tuesday and and we do our weekly comic book show there so you can actually get my thoughts on on uh, what books i liked and everything uh, next i got some free stuff uh, this is from uh, jack foster who does some cool art uh, he gave me this for free so uh i'm excited to check that out so some of his art and then we also got a uh, Pat Chan was there, so I had to go support him. We got some Cthulhu. I, I love this book. This is one of my favorites from him. It's what it's so fun because it's like a meta book about Kickstarter and how Cthulhu sells. And I summoned Cthulhu to fund my Kickstarter. I thought uh, it was fun. Behind that, I also did some DC interviews that you're going to see on the channel. So I got Ashcan from their panel that I did not go to, but I was able to get at the booth. Uh, speaking of Pat, we got another Pat Chan book over there. He was doing a signing with the White Ash, White Ash comic book with Charlie Stickney, another book you should check out. Uh, another free book I got from uh, Kickstarter is Omega 2090. Uh, one of the creators gave me this, so I was like, yeah, I'll go check it out. So it looked like a cool book. Uh, going into some Ghost Machine stuff, they had some covers, also the Ash Can as well, so you get to see what their next book is. They had a couple of special covers. They so got Red Coat issue one, Geiger issue one, I believe there's another one, yeah, Junk Junkyard Joe. They're all, like, kind of foil covers. And then I believe this is actually the San Diego exclusive, so Ghost Machine, which I really like the, that first volume. This is the black and white edition for the book, so I'm all keeping that in the bags of boards. 
Believe it or not, more free free items that I got. So I went to AWA's Kickstarter party uh, for the Ronda Rousey event that they just launched a Kickstarter and they gave some free stuff. So we got the Kickstarter pamphlet here. We got lanyard for Kickstarter, which I probably should have worn throughout the thing. I just saw that this is here. So next time I'll, I'll wear some Kickstarter stuff. Uh, this is actually from the DC. They also gave me some free pins. And let me see what else. We also got a free book from AWA. So that's some of the items I got from the, the party I went to, which was so much fun and like intimate thing that was really cool just to kind of celebrate Kickstarter. So I, I really like that. Uh, all right, moving on to we got some J. Scott Campbell. This is the exclusive cover from the event Spider Gwen. And then it has the authenticity in the back all signed. That's cool. And of course, I had to get the Ultimate Spider-Man, Mary Jane, and the family. Also sign, authenticity in the back. So I always try to get something from him. This I also got from free uh, for free from Valiant. Got some uh, Liam Sharp signed stuff. And then I also got uh, Becky Cloonan and uh, Michael Conrad, who did some EXO. Got that signed. That was free. And then I got the Witchblade San Diego Comic-Con exclusive cover. This was, I thought it was pretty solid first issue. Uh, I wanted to support that. And last but not least, this is kind of like the big thing I got at Comic-Con. And again, also like free signatures, which was really cool. But first I got this mystery bag for Power Rangers. So I got the green, I was going to say the green arrow. The green ranger and the white ranger. So you got the, like, the split cover. And then I got this exclusive variant for that you can only get with the signing for Amy Jo Johnson, and I got it signed uh, by her, and I got to meet her. And that's uh, my big Funko I got. So I got the Funko at one of these boots for the Ranger Slayer, and it was signed by her. So I'm like, wow, that was definitely my biggest get for the con. It was just cool meeting her and, and getting to meet uh, her writing partner as well, who does a wonderful job with the with the Power Rangers books and Power Rangers Returns, which was by far one of my favorite comics of the year. But that's my haul. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I will be back with a lot of interviews and just my regular videos as, as I get back into the Comic-Con swing of things and the regular life swing of things. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. This is Comic Uno, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.